<clears throat> Hello and welcome to the last episode of the Century Home Kitchen Renovation Project. Well, probably the last episode. Um, it's, uh, it's about two weeks, I think, since I recorded an update. And the last update I did, I believe I, where I left off at, was that the backsplash was yet to be done. And I figured, you know, that would take a weekend. Okay, so, um, yeah, n no matter what tutorials tell you, at least we are not finding this to be a weekend project. The backsplash project has been enormously tedious, frustrating, expensive, and prolonged. We're still not quite done. And when I say we, I mean Paul, because he's doing the, the labor. He doesn't really let me do any of the labor. He lets me buy the stuff. But um, <clears throat> so we have that yet to be 100% complete, but even that's mostly complete. So there's just a few small details remaining. So let's do a quick uh, walk around, okay? So, so yeah, that's um, that is turning into a nice little, uh, I think, area right there. Now, the what you're seeing at the base, the, the juncture of the, the counter with the backsplash is is just um, some paper that Paul has taped there. That's obviously that's not permanent. That'll come off once he's done putting the grout in. You know, I wish that I had, um, wish that I'd asked for the crown molding to be put, to be put clear across that, you know, that window. That that would have been a little bit nicer still. Though in time, perhaps we we could still do that. Um, that still looks decent over there. Quite liking that. Oh, and I like these these chairs that we bought and that arrived. They're um, they're not just um, they don't just look good. They're actually really comfortable also. So yeah, so this is a little, um, plan to keep this counter mostly free, and that's to, you know, have a nice snack at. And in the springtime and the summer, it's nice to look out those windows too. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and then of course over here, this is the backsplash that's fairly complete. In fact, I believe it is done. He's grouted it. I mean, it's possible we, we put some caulk in, maybe some sealant, but uh, barring that, it's done. And I think it, it just looks great over there. Maybe that uh, that chimney, maybe I'll apply some acid perhaps to that, to that plaster that's still stuck to it and clean that up. That can wait. Um, so yeah, so with that backsplash in, I think it, uh, the flooring kind of, you know, the, the, the coloration and the... the the look of the flooring that I chose, I think even makes a little bit more sense too. So it's kind of nice. Ceiling fan matches the, the flooring too. Um, oh yeah, I guess we, we haven't finished painting. We're, we're thinking we'll just, um, we'll paint it. What is basically a maroon type color. We'll just go with that. But yeah, that that's that's basically um, it's basically it, you know. Just over a month later, and um, and this is what we got. So I suppose we're you could say we're happy with it. You know, I'm even liking the the greenish color of the the paint for the walls that I chose. You know, one thing that's that's not working out great, I suppose, is uh, is this baffle. This rubber baffle we have. Um, since there's a garburetor and there's only the one drain, they put that in. I might take it out. It's causing the water to drain really slowly. I'm not happy about that. Here's another thing that's, not, I guess, not 100% complete. We're going to have an electrical outlet put here. It's yet to be put in. These contractors we've been dealing with, TBC, they've just been, they've been great. Never worked with contractors this good before, this thorough, this professional. Last week, I haven't been able to get a hold of them to find out why that, you know, when I'm going to get that outlet put in. So it's highly unusual. I'm sure there's a good explanation, but so I don't really have an update for that yet on, or an ETA on that. And, uh, and speaking of which, a final cost, you know, as I said, one thing is that Backsplash ended up costing more than we anticipated. I would say about $1,000. Um, I hadn't budgeted that much. It's about twice what I doubled budgeted. Um, 
So I'd say this project is bringing in at about $56,000 total. That's including buying everything except the refrigerator, if you want to include that, where it's $57,500. Um, so that's, that's a huge chunk of money, and we only had roughly half of that in cash. But, uh, but we're still, I, I think, uh, we're very happy. So, um, last episode. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you're as um, hope you're as blown away as I am, because I am. I think it's great in here. Um, so, thank you very much for joining. See you later.